The greatest evil is not done now in those sordid dens of crime that Dickens loved to paint. It is not even done in concentration camps and labor camps. In those, we see its final result. But it is conceived and ordered, moved, seconded, carried, and minuted in clear, carpeted, warmed, and well-lighted offices by quiet men with white collars and cut fingernails and smooth-shaven cheeks who do not need to raise their voice. Well, because these quiet men do not raise their voices, because they sometimes speak in soothing tones of brotherhood and peace, some would have us accept them at their word. You know, so often uh, in the past, there's been a sharp division between left and right, between capitalist and communist or socialist. Communism, according to all its own leaders, must be a system of international control and conformity. Thus, at its very heart, it is a complete opposite and enemy of any kind of nationalism. Its avowed program is to destroy totally the religions, governments, institutions, and traditions of the Christian world, the Buddhist world, the Islamic world, the Judaic world, and the world of every religion and culture. Ah, you know, you're, you're a capitalist Yankee dog, and, oh, you know, you're some, you know, crazy communist, you know, that's going to take away everybody's property. And, I mean, those are in, in, interesting intellectual arguments, but I think for your generation, you should be practical and just choose from what works. The communist rulers then propose to substitute a whole new system of thought and control dictated from Communist Party headquarters. They think that a few theorists and rulers know what is best for everyone, and they are determined to drive everyone toward that kind of world. And, and it's up to you, as you, as you in, in whether you're in business or in academia or in the nonprofit sector, whatever you're doing, to, to, to create new forms that are adapted to the new conditions uh, that we live in today. The question of communism within the United States has been one that has worried us in the past. It is one that will continue to be a problem for years to come. And, and, and so you don't have to be rigid in saying it's, it's either this or that. You can say, depending on the problem you're trying to solve, depending on uh, the social issues that you're trying to address, what works? We fight communism at home, not only by our laws to deal with communists, uh, the few who do become communists and the few who do become tra fellow travelers, but we also fight communism as, at home by moving against those various injustices which exist in our society, which the communists feed upon. A market does not work by itself. It has to have uh, a, a social and moral and ethical and community basis. And there has to be inclusion, otherwise it's not stable. There are many people in the world who really don't understand or say they don't. What is the great issue? between the free world and the communist world. Let them come to Berlin. There are some who say, there are some who say that communism is the wave of the future. Let them come to Berlin. And there are even a few who say that it's true that communism is an evil system, but it permits us to make economic progress. Lass sie nach Berlin in common. Let them come to Berlin.
that's going to be the wave of the future if we want to make progress on these problems. One of the heads of state that I met with told me the story about the two fellows in the Soviet Union who were walking down the street, and the one of them says, have we really achieved full communism? Is this it? Is this now full communism? And the other one said, oh, hell no, it's, things are going to get a lot worse. 